Libras, this is you versus them for the 10th through the 18th. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> Let's see. How did you guys feel about this person? How did you feel about them and the relationship? King of Cups. King of Chalices here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. I feel like you care for this person a lot. And I also feel like you were the one that basically um, guided the relationship. <clears throat> you were the one that was in control. How did they feel about Libra in the relationship? I think it's about Libra in the relationship. Hermit. Virgo energy. You know, I'm, with this person, I'm getting that they saw you as kind of like a recluse. Um, that you were closed off a little bit. You wouldn't really, really and truly like let them in that um, there were a lot of things from your past that, that kind of um, hindered you guys or came into play during your relationship with them. What's currently going on with Libras? What's currently going on with Libras? Seven of Swords, now you're doing what you want to do, doing what's best for you. I feel like you guys... Um, kind of have regrets about how you uh, handle this relationship with this person. I feel like a lot of you feel that you gave too much of yourselves. Maybe you showed them um, your emotional side too soon or you gave them way more than what you feel they gave you. And so now you're at this point where it's like, you know what, I'm looking out for me. I'm looking out for number one. And that's it. That's Aquarius energy there. Currently going on with them. What's currently going on with them? Knight of Wands. They want to come back. I see that. I see this person's very attracted to you, but I don't see them being somebody that um, is ready to settle down per se. What's currently going on with them? Seven of Coins. I feel like they're waiting. Um, I feel like they are observing you. I feel like they want to invest in you. I don't know if they just had that capability at this point. Because I definitely see where you guys started to build something. And it may not have gotten to that Ten of Pentacles type of commitment. But you were definitely working on that. And that person's kind of reflecting on you guys at this point and whether or not they want to um, continue to invest. I just don't know if they have that capability to to give you that Ten of Pentacles is a thing. That's Taurus energy there. Actually, this is Virgo energy too. This is the Eight of Cups. I mean, the Eight of Coins. The Eight of Pentacles. I see them working, throwing themselves into work. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune just looked at the air. We'll talk about that in a second. But with this Eight of Pentacles, um, yeah, you guys are definitely working towards something with this person. And again, it just did not get to the point where it was truly committed in a fashion that you would have liked to have seen it. Um, I do feel like this person is still wanting to work on things with you. I don't know if you're just over them and whatever their antics were when you were involved with them, but all they're doing now is working. Um, I feel like they want to be noticed by you. Now, the Wheel of Fortune um, spun out here, or the Wheel, 
as it is in this deck. And this is all about uh, changes. Now, I feel like at one point in time, you were so very invested in this relationship with this person. And they probably were like um, your main focal point. But that's changed. They're no longer your main focal point. You are your main focal point. So now you have changed the dynamic of this situation. Okay. This is Sagittarius Piscean energy here with the wheel. What's influencing them? What's influencing them? And then we have a four of coins, the fact that you're holding back. You're holding back. You're no longer willing to give them all of the time that you were giving them before. I think that um, they're also holding on to you. They're holding on to hope. Um, I think they're trying to save money at this point in time. And um, they may have come across to you like their work meant more to them than you did. Um, but yeah, this person still is wanting, wanting you holding on to you when they came across you they felt like they were very fortunate to have you in their life it's capricorn energy there hmm. what's coming in for libras what's coming in for libras nine of wands at one point in time you felt like um, this relationship got you, that um, it defeated you, it had you feeling down, had you feeling in the dumps, it had you um, just sulking in your feelings. I feel like right now it's like, you know, you're ready to do something different. You're ready to keep going. But I feel like you're at the forefront right now. I don't feel like any other relationship, honestly, is at the forefront for you. Because you have a seven and you have a nine here. Um, and those are single energies. It's about you and what you want. What's best for you. What do you want to do from here on out? And I think that you've, you've come to this point where you, you were just dead set on looking out for you. Doing what's best for you. <clears throat> what's coming in for the other person? That's Sagittarius energy there. What's coming in for them? Page of Wands. Flirty. Mm -hmm. This is like the Aries energy. Flirting, doing something new. If this person was not a huge flirt, I feel them trying to um, do something different with you. They're trying to bring you out of your shell. They're trying to make you look at them like you used to. This person is a fire sign, but they're trying to be like playful and cute and um, just get your attention is what I'm getting here. Okay. What can Libras expect from this person? What can we expect from this person? Three of Pentacles. They will compromise with you. They will definitely do whatever it is I feel like you guys want them to do to make this work. Capricorn energy. They want back what they have with you. <laughs> what can this person expect from Libras? What can they expect from a Libras? King of Cups. Different King of Cups, though. You're still the same person. 
think you are as um um what it's not as innocent I feel like as it once was I think you're more angry right now I think you still have a lot of emotions for this person but it's it's not the same it's not the same at all and you may not even take what they have to offer you may not even want to hear what they have to say at the end of the day you know you may feel like you want to now and, and you may entertain it but it's it's just not the same that's what i'm getting okay so that's what i have for you guys and i'll be speaking with you soon namaste